Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really pumped about today's video because I am going to share with you guys a really close dupe to the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. So this is the Metal Matte Palette by Kat Von D. This was released, I believe, in 2016, the holiday collection. And you open it up and you get some Ooh, let me try to do this without blinding you guys with the mirror. There we go. Um, you get some shimmer shades and you get some matte shades in here. And this was a super popular palette. The packaging is really cool because it says metal and then it also says matte. Like it was a really hyped up palette. Well, recently I was on the app Shop Hush, uh, which I have been playing with lately and I really like it because you can find some really cool indie brands on there, but you can also find some high-end things on there as well and just like everyday drugstore brands like Maybelline CoverGirl, things like that. Well, I was on there just looking around and I saw this. This is from the brand, I believe you pronounce it Oak. Oakalon or Oakland, I will link it down below and it was their natural metal matte palette and it looked identical to the Kat Von D version. So I got it, it was only $15 and so I ordered it and it came in the mail and I was imagining it to be like a smaller palette with similar shades, you know, things like that. Well, I opened it up and it is the exact same size as the Kat Von D. Kat Von D's behind and the Oakalon one is in the front. And it's the natural metal matte, so it says natural right here. Um, and then when you flip it over, it doesn't say anything, but it just says um, natural. Now, the packaging is pretty much the same, except this is navy blue and this is like a white and black ombre. And you open it up, and this is the inside of the palette. It looks very similar, does it not? There are a couple of differences, like the mirror little outline is different, um, the color of the packaging obviously, the shape of the pans, like these are squares, whereas the Kat Von D one is more of like rounded squares, if you will, rounded edges. But overall, they are the exact same color palette, exact same layout. They even have the exact same shade names. Okay. And as a consumer, I appreciate this. I love that there is a cheaper alternative. You know, you can't find the metal mat really anymore. So I love, because it was limited edition. So I love that you can find something that's cheaper and that is more available. But if I was Kat Von D, I would probably be pretty irritated because I feel like, you know, brands put in a lot of work into their products. You know, they do different shades and different names and they really go through formulas and things like that and packaging and so much to just have someone kind of dupe them to be cheaper. If I was a brand, I wouldn't like it, but as a consumer, I really do. So that's, that's the way I feel about really, really identical palettes. You know, like at least change the shade names. I mean, come on now, but whatever. So I'm going to share with you guys some side-by-side -side swatches of these palettes so you guys can see really how the shades compare. And I did make some notes about some certain shades that are just a little bit different. And then there's one shade that's significantly different between the palettes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the matte shades. So the one in Velour, which is the matte bright blue, the one in the Kat Von D palette is just a little bit lighter and brighter than the other one. The one in the Oakalon palette is just a hair deeper. And then the color Stone, which is the matte gray shade. Um, in the Kat Von D, it's a little bit cooler. And then in the Oakalon palette, it is a little bit more brownish. It has a little bit more brown in there. And then the color Oak, which is like the medium brown shade in the palette. The one in the Kat Von D is a little bit darker and a little bit cooler where the one in the Oakalon palette is a little bit more lighter and it's a little bit more lighter. It's a little bit lighter and it also is um, a little bit warmer. Now the shade Tinsel, I'm gonna move to the shimmer shades now. The shade Tinsel is very different between the palettes. The one in the Oakalon palette is definitely darker and it's a softer formula, it's a little bit more crumbly, where the one in the Kat Von D palette is a little bit lighter and a little bit stiffer and more compact. And then the shade Volt, which is the 
dark shimmery purple color. The one in the Kat Von D is just a little bit lighter than the other one. Um, the one in the Oakland palette is a little bit darker and softer. Now, those are the really the main differences between the shades that I noticed. Overall, formula-wise, I noticed that the Kat Von D is a little bit more of a softer formula, where the Oakland is a little bit more stiff. Um, and just, they're just not as smooth as the Kat Von D goes. Um, overall, I would say you can get the same looks with these palettes. So today I am actually wearing both of these palettes. I have the Oakalon one on this eye. And what I did is I put Galitz all over my lid. I did a little bit of suede in the crease, a little bit of silk in the crease, and then I deepened things up with the shade Velvet, which is the matte plummy brown on the outer corner. And I used the same shades in the Kat Von D palette, and I got the same look on this eye. So you can get the same look with these palettes. I've even used the color like Oak, for example. They are a little bit different, but on the eyes, they pretty much look the same. I've used those, I used them yesterday, one on this eye, one on this eye, and they looked the exact same. So I would say that this is a dupe for the Meadow Matte Palette. Again, I love that it's only $15. It's available. You can buy it still, whereas the Kat Von D was way more expensive and you can't really find it anymore because it was limited edition. But at the same time, I'm like, come on, man. Like, if you're going to dupe something, I mean, at least change the names or at least, like, change the layout or, you know, something. But they really did just completely copy this palette. So, with, you know, the difference in shades a little bit and then the shade tinsel is completely different but overall I would say that yes this is a dupe so if you were wanting the metal matte palette and you were not able to get it I would definitely say if you pick up this Oakalon one from the shop hush app which also if you use the app um, you always get free shipping so that is something that's really awesome as well this video isn't sponsored or they don't even know I'm doing it. It's just, I thought that was cool. You always get free shipping if you use the app. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this type of video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.